I'm here with uh, my colleague Steve Rockle, who teaches African history here at UTSC. And Steve, I, I wanted to begin by asking you if you could comment on the impact of European colonization in general and the transatlantic slave trade in particular on African society and culture. Well, of course, uh, both colonialism and the slave trade have been central to the African experience since around the, the 1500s. Um, the slave trade in particular, of course, was a massive diversion of, of resources, capital, uh, technology, um, ideas and so on, out of Africa uh, to the New World, also to the Mediterranean region and uh, across the Indian Ocean, because um, although the Atlantic slave trade is much better known, uh, there were uh, large-scale slave trades uh, across the Sahara Desert and also across the Indian Ocean as well. Um, so Africans have contributed massively um, to historical change since the 1500s into the 16th, 17th, 18th, up until the, the, uh, our own era. Um, in terms of capitalism, of course, Africans um, supplied um, some of the technologies and ideas for early plantation uh, production in the Americas and the, the Caribbean. Uh, they also, of course, supplied most of the labor. Um, and this was a forced labor under brutal conditions. Um, but that labor and some of the uh, cultural contributions and technological contributions that came out of Africa, um, such as, uh, for example, the um, um, uh, rice plantations in the, in the southeast of the USA, uh, couldn't have succeeded without uh, African knowledge. Um, so Africa has been central um, in a variety of ways, um, but of course African people have suffered um, through these processes greatly. Steve, let me ask you a follow-up question. Could you spend a moment telling us about the involvement of Africans in the slave trade and in particular, the impact that this had on West African society. Okay, so let's deal with the first question. Um, African involvement in the slave trade. Well, of course, it was big, and um, Africans, uh, merchants, uh, traders, um, uh, states, warrior societies, and so on, was, was central to the production of, of, of uh, slaves, the uh, producing captives that were then sold into the slave trade. This is a controversial issue, of course, and um, but if we think of it in a different way, um, it's really not so controversial. Africa was really the most diverse um, continent in the world in many ways, and there's no reason why Africans would see all other Africans as uh, their allies, their, their neighbours, and so on. Um, Europeans never did. Uh, so I don't think we should pretend that Africans were, were any different. They fought amongst themselves, they had conflicts, um, they had competitions over resources, over control of slave routes and uh, trade routes and so on. Um, so it's not surprising that Africans engaged in the slave trade when Europeans, of course, and other peoples around the world were also engaged in the slave trade. Um, the second question about the impact, well, of course, there was a massive diversion of young people um, out of Africa, so in other words, the most productive, energetic uh, people. Um, there was a, a hit in terms of uh, loss of population in some areas, but that shouldn't be exaggerated because um, populations did recover um, over time. Um, but there was a loss of dynamism, uh, there was an increase in uh, violence associated with the slave trade, um, and that of course had a negative uh, effect on, on economic development.